Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for October 31st to November 6th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. All right, so I know a couple of you have asked in the comments, am I doing uh, personal readings? Yes, I have personal readings, but they're closed at this time. If you'd like to be put on the list here, uh, when they open back up again, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. If you're interested in the free reading contest, there's still time for that. Um, you can stick with me till the end. Okay, so we're gonna go over your day to day, and then we're gonna talk about, talk about, not talk about, talk about your love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you wanna continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. I know I'm not in my usual setup here for the cards, but um, I just had to do things a little bit differently today. I will go back to the other setup soon, okay? I'm just letting you guys know. I know some of you had asked me in the comments about it. All right, so let's now take a look what's going on with your situation here, Capricorn. All right, so what's going on my Capricorn's romantic love life for October 31st? to November 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So the first day here, it looks like on October 31st, we have the world card energy. On November 1st, we have the hermit card energy. On November 2nd, we have the six of pentacles energy. On the 3rd of November, we have the death card energy. Oh, wow. We have an Ace of Pentacles here on November 4th, and we have the King of Wands on November 5th, and we have the Queen of Pentacles on November 6th. Let's take a look at what's going on with the overall energy. It looks like you guys, you know, a couple of different signs now are overcoming uh, different challenges here this week. It's like finally like a lot of... Uh, a lot of things that you've been going through are now over. They're completed. They're accomplished, all right? So these lessons are accomplished now. And then we see that the Seven of Wands is next. So you guys are defending your position. You have the higher ground to win your situation when it comes to your romantic love life. So I'm going to get more information here. And the signs, potential signs could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or Aries Sagittarius Leo energy coming in. Doesn't have to be. Could be, okay? These are the people cards we see. So what's going on with my Capricorn romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Capricorn romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So Capricorn, on the first day, it looks like things are going to come full circle, all right? So for some of you, you're going to move into another level of commitment with this person. For others of you, someone's going to come back around, okay? Um, it's going to come full circle. Um, I do feel like someone's been hanging on to this connection, like, you know, by a thread. And so now things are going to come full circle here with this situation. Okay, so... Yep, Clover card. For some of you, could be talking about um, a risk, taking a risk, a leap of faith, or uh, reconciliation. And then we see the next card. You're questioning the wisdom, like, all right, am I making the best decision here for my romantic love life based on my life experiences? It looks like a choice is going to be made on that day about it. And it looks like the next day you decide, I'm just going to think about this and contemplate, you know, just because I want to be sure. And so there's a lot of analyzing going on about this news or this message or this visit from this person with the writer card energy. And then we got the ex-partner coming out. So as you're analyzing, you're thinking about what's going on with this person from the past, this other person here, and this news that you've received with the writer card energy, and it brings on an opportunity here. The Six of Pentacles here on the second is telling me that it looks like you're going to be very giving on this day, or this, this person wants to be very giving to you with a charitable card, Six of Pentacles energy. Yep, a person card's coming out. And for some of you, the Six of Pentacles can be representing, all right, I want things to come into balance first. And so that may be why you're trying to be patient here to see how things are going to play out. We can see so far, it's like you're like, all right, 
am I gonna make the best decision here when it comes to this ex-partner? Should I be patient and just kind of see how things play out here? So it looks like there may be a situation where this person is coming out of a relationship, okay? And so it's bringing up an opportunity for things to come back around for you guys, okay? So we see, yep, there's the transformation card or the change, ending something for this new opportunity. And we see there's something to do with a friend here or loyalty and an opportunity. So, because above this card actually is the X card energy. So for some of you, you may still be friends with this person. And now you're aware that this ending of this, this relationship now is bringing in an opportunity for you guys. Okay, now by the 4th here, November 4th, we can see there's an offer on the table, huge offer on the table with the Ace of Pentacles energy. And then what's that about? So there, you may be able to, um, there's a huge offer being presented here, but there's gonna be some delays here about it because of some confusion happening. All right, so it's like a lack of clarity here. And I see if I go this way with it, patient energy when it comes to this opportunity because of sense of confusion. All right, wisdom when it comes to this opportunity or something important about this. All right, so then Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, we have the King of Wands here saying, okay, I want to be wise in my decision making when it comes to my chemistry and passion here. And we see you guys are very happy on this day with the Sun card energy. Oh, yes. <laughs> some of you guys may be getting involved with some passionate stuff here on this day, some passionate exercises. Okay, <laughs> something's being revealed about this passion and chemistry. Okay. All right, yeah, that's a day you may want to note of. Okay, it's interesting too, Capricorn. Um, the fourth seems to be an issue for a lot of signs. And someone had remarked in the comments that there's a new moon coming, so that's interesting. All right, so we see on the sixth that the Queen of Pentacles is here. So I feel like you guys are gonna be patient here to kind of figure out, all right, what do I wanna do on a long-term basis? There's a very nurturing and supportive energy. And you guys are gonna have this conversation, it's gonna take place because there is strong desire here. There is strong desire here around this connection. All right, so we can see so far Capricorn, you're wanting to make a wise decision when it comes to sex partners. So you're trying to be patient when it comes to this opportunity because there's still bits of confusion. There is a lot of chemistry between you guys and there is the strong desires and attachments here and obsessive energy. Okay, it does look like this person's a bit obsessed too with you. Um, so we can see a reconciliation, news from this person or this person's gonna pay you a visit. Uh, we can see that you guys are gonna be friends here with the dog card energy or there's some friendly energy going on because of this ending. But there's some delays here, but then some things will be revealed through this conversation, okay? Let's keep going. So things are gonna come full circle for you guys. There's a lot of contemplation about how to bring things into balance. Um, you may be very giving to this person, maybe helping this person out with the Six of Pentacles energy because of something that ended in the situation. Now this huge opportunity is coming in here with this Ace of Pentacles. Now for some of you, what's going on here is it may be a situation where this ex person is coming out, but then also this could be a new situation with this Ace of Pentacles energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Because I see two people cards and I see Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What was the other sign that also had multiple people involved with their reading? Sagittarius. So you may want to check out that reading as well, okay? That may resonate with you um, if it's correlated with your sun, moon, or rising. All right, so let's now take a look, Capricorn, at their feelings for your love interest feelings oh yeah they definitely want potential for passion there with the ace of wands energy and we see the strength card energy they're trying to find that strength and that courage and a confidence here oh my god they also love you with the ace of cups energy so you got both love and passion from this person they see this mad potential within you and then let's keep going yep their heart card reconfirming this person does love you and they have strong desires here with the snake card energy. And they have a lot of hurt and pain about this connection. They may also, okay, they may also have some jealousy issues of other people around you, okay? All right, so be cognizant of that. All right, so this person really wants to take control of the connection because you make them completely happy in love. And they want to make the effort here. 
All right, so Capricorn, let's now move into what your blockage slay and challenge is this week. And then I want to see what the overall outcome is going to be here. All right, so block and challenge is someone's going to speak their truth when it comes to romance about family and long-term commitment. That explains the huge offering coming in Capricorn. And also the queen of pentacles is a motherly energy, isn't she? She is also the energy. What should I do on the long-term basis? Mm -hmm. Or there's a truth about resolving some kind of conflict with family and long-term commitment when it comes to success and romance. All right, so now let's take a look at the overall outcome, Capricorn. So it looks like someone has been thinking about you and really contemplating the connection. And we see that there is a, a soulmate connection, a choice being made with the heart or uh, something to do with the thinking about this relationship. And look at that. This relationship that you're gonna have with this person you're gonna overcome challenges here. So you overcome challenges when it comes to this relationship because there's been a lot of thinking and contemplating about you. I feel like this person has, you've been on their mind, okay? And now there's gonna be an awareness of this because two people are coming back together. That's what it looks like to me where there's this relationship here and a choice being made with the heart. And Capricorn, look at that. You're overcoming challenges here with the Six of Swords energy, healing, recovery, and love. Let's go further. There's a lot of emotions here for this fresh start, new opportunity, and hopeful energy about a positive outcome. And also, this fulfills your dreams here with the star card energy, with this soulmate connection. Let's go further. So yes, a decision is made to bring things into balance for a hopeful outcome, a positive outcome between you and this person. Now, with the child card coming out, we can see this in two different ways. Since we saw the Queen of Pentacles, we saw the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you have decided in this connection that you are going to take this further, possibly start a family, because we see the family card came out for the block delays and challenges. Or um, for some of you, this is going to be a fresh start, new opportunity with somebody you had dealt with before. Okay, it doesn't necessarily be an ex, could be somebody you had dealt with before. Okay, um, but definitely for some of you, it's definitely a brand new situation with the trial card energy coming out and there is a positive outcome and the, the two of cups talks about a relationship so it looks like some of you are forming a relationship here and overcoming challenges around this and it's it definitely looks like a hopeful outcome a positive outcome for you guys all right my beautiful capricorns i love you guys so much if you guys like that hit that like button let me know in the comments below you guys got such a huge offer coming in i can't wait for you guys to tell me about it in the comments below yes feel free come back and check it out let me know what how about it plays out in your situation okay uh, also, uh, there is multiple reasons for you guys to check out. If you're wondering if they're going to return, you can go check that out right now. Um, the next three months is up and available. Uh, also, um, the next couple days I'm going to be releasing. Tomorrow I'm going to be releasing their true feelings. Then on the 31st of October, I'm going to be working on your monthlies for November, which is love, career, and finance, and health and wellness. For the free reading contest, all you guys have to do is put twin flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. Also, you guys can follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter. Um, let me see, did I leave anything out? Yeah, I said Instagram already. Yes, I'm on those platforms as well. If you guys would like to uh, get in contact with me or, so I look forward to seeing you guys. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon.